A dive company owner has described a group apparently fishing inside a marine reserve as a blatant and reckless raiding party. Video posted on social media appears to show the men at the Poor Knights Islands off Tutukaka Coast in Northland. The area has been protected for decades and is known as one of the world's best dive spots. Investigations correspondent Michael Mora has the story. Well, it's caught any fish yet or what? Uh, we've got enough. We've got a small fish. Look. Here and there. Oh, f and, uh, one or two. We're just doing a bit of a clean up in here. <laughs> An expletive laden post to boast about a successful day on the water. It's a little bit of a marine life. Wanna stop picking on the marine life, eh? Leave them alone. But this is more than just harmless fishing banter. According to those who know the area, the surrounding rocky islands are unmistakably the Poor Knights, a pristine and unique environment which has been a marine reserve where all fishing is banned since 1998. I felt sick to the stomach, it was really blatant, it's a total disregard, it's disrespectful, it's like a raiding party. Dive Tutukaka's Kate Malcolm and her crew are at the nights every day taking locals and tourists diving in the lush kelp forests which are home to an array of unique fish species. I had to look twice, I couldn't believe that they were actually doing that in broad daylight and put it up on their socials. The poor knights are rated as being in the top 10 places to dive in the world. The marine reserve extends 800 metres out from the two main islands and covers all nearby rocks and reefs. Kahawai Point near Punawai Bay appears to be in the video, in the middle of the marine reserve. It's where Kate Malcolm says a kingfish is reeled in. King's on the menu. <laughs> That's legal. It was easy to recognise that that kingfish was caught at Punawai Bay simply because of the background, the topography of the islands. Chris Scott from the recreational fishing group Legacy is appalled. This isn't a reflection of recreational fishers. This is poaching and the two are completely different. You know, you look at these guys, they're out there with a the cavalier attitude, they're pulling in semi-tame fish from the marine reserve. This is highly illegal. Julia Riddle of Northland Dive told NewsHub she's 100% sure the video shows fishing at the poor nights and she feels sick about it. The Department of Conservation has confirmed it's been made aware of illegal fishing at the reserve and is investigating with Fisheries New Zealand. The videos were posted on Instagram by a Northland fishing and hunting enthusiast who has 33,000 followers. He's since deleted the videos. Given the blatant nature of the alleged offending, Kate Malcolm expects a swift response from authorities and more than just a warning. There is no excuse for what they've done. If, if the government departments involved with this cannot prosecute on such a base case as this, I'd be really disappointed. They need to throw the book at them. Penalties for fishing in marine reserves range from being fined to having your boat seized or even jail. News Hub sought comment from the man who posted the videos. He's yet to respond. Michael Mora, News Hub.